Okay, what I'm gonna do today is transplant one of my avocado trees from the previous aquaponics system into a Dutch bucket that's gonna be connected to the new system over here. Um, I've still gotta get the cinder blocks and get the uh, bases set up and the plumbing for the Dutch buckets. I've already moved one avocado tree into a Dutch bucket. Uh, basically, I just gotta cut a hole in the top. I, I took the roots out of the old grow cup and I've got a uniseal over here with a drain and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'll also show you the root ball, how it's grown inside that cup. Pretty massive. I believe a one inch hole saw would be ideal for this, but all I've got is a seven eighths or a one and a quarter. So I'm going to go with the seven eighths and I'm going to take a uh, scissor and just uh, hollow it out a little bit more around the edges when I smooth the edges with the plastic to make it big enough for my grommet. Now I'm going to take some scissors. I'm just going to go around the hole and shave off a little bit of plastic. I'm trying to be as even as I can. I know I could go get a one inch hole saw bit, I just don't have one right now, I want to go ahead and get this done. I think a one inch size would be ideal uh, for the three quarter inch grommets that I'm going to use. And these little grommets, you can get them at Home Depot, a three quarter inch uh, black rubber grommet. It fits a half inch PVC pipe, but it needs a one inch hole. I thought I could get away with the one and a quarter inch hole yesterday and it leaks around it, it's not tight enough. But the uh, seven eighths inch is, uh, maybe that was one and an eighth I tried yesterday, it was, was not good enough. But the seven eighths is not, it's not large enough for the PVC to go through without tearing up the grommet. That'll be good enough. Again, here's the uh, rubber grommets that I'm using. Three quarter inch rubber grommet ever built from Home Depot. I'm not even going to worry about gluing these. But all I've got is a, is a piece of uh, half inch PVC, uh, uh, half inch 90. So I'm not even going to worry about uh, gluing these at all. What you do want to do is rub the edges of the PVC pipe a little bit on the concrete, just to make them go through the grommet a little bit easier once they get the grommet in the hole. I'm just going to take that uniseal, a rubber grommet, and get on here. Now I'm just going to kind of give it a little bit of support on the back side as I twist and thread it through here. I'm going to push it all the way through. 
It's almost doing now. Go ahead and turn it down where it's going to drain out of here. Now on the other side, I'm just going to take the other 90. I'm going to turn it down as well. Like I said, I'm not even going to glue these fittings unless they're visibly leaking later. Don't worry about it. But I basically got this fitting turned down inside the bucket so that it'll draw from closer to the bottom. Uh, if it's if I want to draw a little bit more water out of the very bottom and not, not hold so much in there, I can always uh, put a little piece of pipe in there uh, going down towards the bottom so it'll pull a little bit more from, from the very bottom but uh, that's pretty much it now I need to put a liner in here all right what I'm using for the liner is a uh, five gallon paint strainer it's a nylon paint strainer just put it around the top edge of this uh, bucket like so That'll keep any of the perlite or media from getting uh, sucked up and clogging my pipes later on. Alright. Alright. For the media, I'm going to use perlite. I already know generally what it's going to look like because I did the other one yesterday. I'm going to carefully get my clay media out of this cup. Kind of shape loose the clay for that damage in the roots. A couple pieces might be stuck on and they just need them in there. I don't want to damage the roots. But it's made a pretty nice root ball in the bottom of that cup. Kind of swirling around there. I've got some new growth on the ends. Now that I've got them out of the goldfish tank where they're not being uh, actively eaten by goldfish. So what I'm going to do is just place that down in the perlite. But I need to get my lid set up first and I haven't done that. Got ahead of myself. Okay, so for the lid, I'm going to use uh, just one of these paint bucket lids that come with these buckets, or that you buy with the buckets. I'm going to do a three inch uh, hole saw bit here, like a three inch hole. I don't have to do that because I'm not using the cups. You know, I did use three inch cups this time, um, but the lid will be set for a three inch cup for whatever the next project might be. so then get down in my media. Now before I set this down in the perlite, what I want to do is thread that through there. Now give me a hold and help that down in the material. Cover over the base. I really think these avocado trees are going to do a whole lot better out here in a depth bucket system where they're separated from the fish. I mean, they, they did pretty well even with the goldfish actively eating on the roots. We all live and learn from different projects and stuff. Trial and error. Now I'm just going to top it off and we'll more curl that top to hold it in place. Alright, 
material down in there. And while these aren't hooked up to the system yet, I'm going to go get some center blocks later today and uh, center blocks and landscape timbers and make a little structure for the Dutch buckets and the plumbing to go on so I can get that started over here on the side of the house. Um, so this should be plumbed up later today, tomorrow at the very latest. But for now, I'll just uh, take a cup with some of my uh, aquaponics water from my system and pour it in there and keep the uh, perlite moist around the root system. Uh, pouring that from time to time until I get it set up with a constant flow and a drip line on there. There's a lot of space in there. Also, I don't want it to blow over in this wind, so I need to get some weight in the bottom of this thing, and that water that it will hold in the bottom will do, uh, do the trick on that. So we just got to pour some water on our root system, and moisten that perlite so the roots aren't drying out. And also help weight that bucket. Put enough to make it uh, drain out the bottom of it, but that's pretty much it. Next time you see those, they should be uh, hooked up to the system with a uh, constant drip and drain going to them.